Welcome to Immigration Quick Take. This is Ellie Rutledge Silver with the American Immigration Lawyers Association. Today, the House Appropriations Committee released its proposed fiscal year 2018 Department of Homeland Security Appropriations Bill, which includes funding for a border wall and President Trump's deportation force. Here to provide details is Greg Chen, AILA Director of Government Relations. Greg, thanks for joining me. What is in this bill? Ellie, ever since President Trump issued his budget request to Congress, we've known that he is implementing a massive deportation plan and putting his money where his mouth is, asking Congress to fund it. And now, with the release publicly of the House Appropriations Bill, we see that the draft bill is going to give the president pretty much everything he wanted. An early Christmas gift that includes massive increases in detention beds, in ICE and CBP agents, as well as $1.6 billion for the border wall. What's this going to do if he gets this money? It's going to enable him to detain and deport thousands of more people. And these aren't the kind of dangerous people the president pretends he's focusing on. This is really gonna end up being families, people who are undocumented, who lived here for years and know America as their home, people who are contributing to this country those are the people that are going to be targeted under this mass deportation plan, and that's why AILA is mobilizing to stop it. What can AILA members do? As I mentioned, AILA is already mobilizing and organizing against this proposal to fund Trump's mass deportation plan. If you go to AILA.org, we have an action alert where you can contact your member of Congress and tell them to not fund President Trump's massive deportation plan. In addition, any way that AILA members and the public can speak out publicly and tell the government, tell Congress not to fund Trump's plan, that would be incredibly helpful because that is where we need the education to be done. We need people to understand who is going to be hurt by this, that families and members of the community that are part of the United States are the ones that are going to be detained and deported under President Trump's plan. Thanks, Greg. What else is happening? The other critical issue that we are tracking is what will happen to the DACA program. President Trump hasn't made clear yet what his position is on the program, even though he's made several public statements saying that he cares about the DACA population and about DREAMers. A few weeks ago, the Attorney General of Texas and several other attorneys generals from various states sent a letter to the president threatening that they would sue him over the DACA 2012 program if he does not rescind it. Now that has really upped the ante on the DACA program and put the whole initiative and those 700,000 grantees of DACA at risk. We think it is critical now that members of Congress and the public tell the president how important this program is and take a real position to protect the DACA population. Thanks, Greg, for joining me. For the rest of you, please stay tuned for more updates from the American Immigration Lawyers Association.